So, picked up this uh, the Mixig uh, SATO 1004, which is an automotive scope. This is the master's kit. So I'm pretty excited to get using this thing and, and learning it. But um, these are this is everything that uh, you get in the master's kit, a nice case. I actually really like the case. It has a vent on it, rubber coated handle. Nice, nice uh, latches. It's pretty rugged. And uh, yeah, gets foam inside. It keeps everything nice and safe. It's two layers of foam. So underneath here, all you got all the probes and everything in here, which is kind of nice. Um, these are uh, just some of the manuals that you get with it. And of course, this unit's from China. So most of the stuff is in Chinese, but you do get, you know, they're gonna tell you what the specs are and there's uh, some English. So it's not, not legible, it's good. <laughs> um, this is for, this is um, an inductive pickup, I believe, for uh, testing. You put this around like spark plug wire. It is the uh, P80. I have yet to use that. Um, then you get two of these probes, which uh, are adjustable for, um, I think it's uh, attenuation. Anyhow, um, yeah, comes with this bag. You get a couple different colored rings and a little screwdriver to adjust it. This is a ground strap. Still learning all this stuff, so I don't know everything, but um, you get four of these BNC connector to banana jack cables. And they're decently long, I think like four or five feet. I'd say four feet, maybe three. I just put some tape on them to color them to the channels so I know which one's going where. Uh, a couple of the larger alligator clips. I find they don't hold on very well, but they still work. Um, a couple back probes and then um, just some uh, test leads that are also uh, banana jack style. It's kind of nice with those because I have a bunch of power probe accessories. So you can just plug these right in, right? And they go in front or back, which is nice. You can stack them. If you've got a bunch of ground connections. You can stack them together. Um, yeah, the, uh, there's a bunch of reviews out there uh, that are pretty in-depth. So there's the four channels. You get two USBs, one's a 3.0, HDMI out, uh, hard switch on and off, power button. This is like a calibration ground port. Um, yeah, your charging power port. Another spot for ground. I didn't read where to hook that up or how to use it in the manual, but we'll find out. It does have uh, speakers, decent strap, and a uh, fan, and a couple stands. Yeah, as far as uh, turning it on, the boot time is pretty decent. I don't mind it. Some people say that it's slow, but it doesn't really matter too much to me anyways. Um, basically just a tablet with, uh, buttons on the side, which are backlit, by the way, I really like that. And then you got, uh, the oscilloscope app fires up immediately. Takes a bit of time, yeah, but yeah, get everything connected and set up anyway. And then, uh, yeah, once you get in there, you can just hit the home button to go back. And the user manual is on, on the unit itself, which is nice in case you're in the field somewhere and you need to look something up. 
Um, it does have a browser as well, so you can surf the internet, which is kind of cool. It's pretty slow, but whatever. Um, this calculator function. There's an advanced calculator function as well. Um, I guess they call it the uh, electronic tool, but it'll do a bunch of calculations for you, which I thought was pretty neat. Of course, I don't know how to use most of this stuff, even right. though I learned it in the past. Well, not all of it, but some of it. <laughs> um, stuff that you just never really use. I guess if you're getting into um, building circuits and all that stuff, right? But as far as automotive use, like rarely do you get your piece of paper out and write down resistance values and calculate circuit and resistance. And at least I don't anyways. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different things. This is it. There's no other uh, uh, windows. You can do screen capture recordings like a snapshot and also video recordings on this, which is cool. Um, there's a picture gallery, video gallery. You can store uh, pictures and videos and uh, actual waveforms on the scope. It has a 32 gigabyte memory. Now the software that runs everything does take up some memory. So I think you're left with like 23 gigs. Ouch. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, no, no, Seven. no. Yeah, this, so, yep. uh, yeah, so. Yeah, but what you said. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's not a whole lot, but uh, you can transfer all your uh, data onto a USB and extract it from the tool and build a library into a hard drive. At least that's the way I'm thinking of doing it. So, not gonna have everything on there. But, um, yeah, we'll go into the scope app itself and just give you a run over of just a couple things. Um, so, as far as like, you got four channels. You can turn them on and off with these buttons or these soft keys on the side. This is obviously a touch screen. Like I say, all the, the buttons are backlit, which is nice. Um, this unit comes with joysticks. There are, let's turn these off. Oops. Um, you've got, uh, A bunch of different settings and stuff in here. Um, as far as triggers go, it'll also do uh, video decoding and network decoding, which is nice. So for car guys, you're gonna do like CAN bus, it'll do CAN bus, it'll do uh, um, LEN. So it'll do uh, all the networks. Um, presets, this one, I, this is what I pretty much think separates this scan tool from the STL-1004, is just all these presets. And there may be some other things that I'm unaware of, but they're pretty much identical besides these presets. So they just give you presets on a bunch of different testing that you can do. And it'll just tell you what to hook up to um, well, not really what to hook up to, but uh, which leads to use. Then you go through and pick which sensors you're trying to um, capture. And then it'll have all the parameters sort of preset for you in an automatic mode. So it's kind of nice just to hit the button and go. I haven't, uh, I've only tested it out on my own car for uh, one um, fuel injector and it worked pretty good. So no complaints there. And then obviously once you get it going, you can uh, change your parameters as you go and, and fine tune it, right? So there's, uh, um, this is for your trigger settings. And that's your trigger line off to the side vertical trigger for time. Whoops. Is this little T right here. 
Um, this is obviously the, the voltage line. And then, uh, yeah, your time scale. This, uh, this section here is your uh, time scale, or sorry, voltage. And then you've got uh, trigger and You can turn cursors on. Go between cursors, check what your uh, voltages are to do fine measurements. You can move them as a set, or you can click the joystick. Move them individually. So, yeah, there's a uh, like I said, there's a bunch of better videos out there to check out as far as what every little thing does on it. But I just thought I'd show you the master's kit with the case and uh, the couple extra probes that you get. There's uh, obviously more probes to get. I'm, I'm learning on this right now. So there's uh, amp clamps and uh, transducers and all kinds of uh, different probes that you can get that'll let you test more stuff so the more I learn the better videos will be able to put out on uh, this thing and like I say I'm super excited to use it so I've been reading the manual and watching a ton of videos I was able to actually use Pico scope back when um, I was working for the dealerships worked for two dealerships and they both had nice Pico sets or kits so I didn't really know a whole lot as far as how to use it, but I understood. I took a couple courses on them so I could get them somewhat set up, but somebody new and nobody to really show you how to do anything. Kind of uh, a little tricky to know if you're actually making the right measurement or whatnot. So um, maybe someday I'll get a Pico scope, but for now, I'm gonna use this thing to its full potential, hopefully, and uh, yeah, we'll make some videos along the way.